Hey everybody, how you doing? It is Dark Wolf, and I would like to welcome you to my den. I very much appreciate you stopping in and joining me. Uh, I'd like to thank all our new subscribers and those that have been with us from the very beginning. Every last one of you is so very appreciated. Um, I would like to start out with a little bit of housekeeping. So, there's a channel that I've come across last month or two. His name is the Awareness Channel. Or, uh, let me get the interact here real quick. <clears throat> here we go. The Awareness Adventures of Cosmic Consciousness Channel. Or just Awareness Channel. He's only got about 122 subscribers, as you see here. But he, uh, he's the one that brought out the Curious World Mandela Effect, which is probably one of the strongest examples of the Mandela Effect that I think I've ever found. Volume's getting a little bit crazy there. I apologize, guys. Didn't mean to be blowing your speakers out. Bring it down just a little. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay, I apologize. If, uh, I was crackling your speakers there. Anyway, this guy right here, guys, his name is Awareness. Her awareness Adventures of Cosmic Consciousness, like I said, he covered the Curious World Mandela Effect. And for those who don't know, I did a video called The Curious Case of a Curious World. It is a show that was on the Travel Channel for a short time. You can find evidence. I know you guys are going to laugh at me and ridicule me for saying this. You can find evidence in newspapers.com. And as much as I don't like newspapers.com for an evidence point, this isn't necessarily the newspaper, but the TV guide listing. So that's kind of a, you know, you, know, you guys get it. <clears throat> I, I'm not a fan of newspapers.com being the only evidence, and it's not the only evidence. Him and his friends, including myself, have really dug up quite a bit of interesting evidence on this. Uh, again, go back and check my previous video. Also, go check his channel, guys. He does Mandela Effect work. He has really thoroughly investigated the, the Curious World one. And I think you guys will be impressed with his work. At least I hope so. So go check him out, please. Really great, really honest, really genuine, sincere um, guy. Great reality hunter, re or residue hunter. So... Uh, I just wanted to give that shout out because I did the video, and when I did the video, I said I could not remember who had uh, made the original one about the effect. I found it. I've corresponded with him a couple times. Really great guy. So please, guys, go check his channel out. I really think you'd enjoy it. Anyway, moving along, thank you for your patience so far. So we're going to talk about flip-flops in this video, as you know from the title already. Um... But I figured I'd go ahead and explain what a flip-flop is. No, not these kind of flip-flops. These kind of flip-flops. The Mandela Effect kind. A flip-flop in the Mandela Effect language is when something changes, then usually a very short time later, it changes back. By short time, I, usually, I mean usually within two weeks or so. It ends up changing back. So, we're going to discuss the top five Mandela Effect flip-flops. You guys ready? Here we go. First up in the number five spot, we have Tidy Cats, Cat, Cats, Cat, Cats. This one here was a really, really uh, funny one to me. Uh, not so much to Jacob Israel. Uh, back in, I want to say 2016, if I'm not mistaken, Jacob Israel, it might be 2015, but I believe it was 2016, had found this one and started making videos, and he bought, and when he bought it, it said Tidy Cat. While it was in his closet, it switched back to cats, and then cat, and then cats. It drove him nuts for couple weeks, actually. <laughs> this was a major, major flip-flop, and one of the first, if not the oldest, of the flip-flops that I've been able to find. 
um, at least that I've experienced. Now, I want to be clear. There are probably a whole, whole lot of flip-flops out there that I don't know about or have not experienced. So this list will be dealing with the major ones, mainly ones that I've experienced myself. Um, but they, they're big ones just the same. So that said, ladies and gentlemen, number five is the Tidy Cats, Cat Cats, Cat Cats, which right now it is Tidy Cats. All right, coming in number four was probably the second biggest one in uh, chronological order anyway, and that was the Flint Stones. So it was always the Flint Stones for me with the T in it for about two weeks back in 2016 again, if I'm not mistaken. It switched over to Flint Stones without the T, the first T. Then, a couple weeks later, of course, it flipped back to what we all know and love, the Flint Stones. And it's been that way ever since. But this is another example of the weird phenomenon within the Mandela Effect, known as flip-flops. Coming in at number three, we have Apollo 13. Uh, not necessarily the movie or the movie cover, more so the line. A line that even before the this movie was released, it was something that was parodied so many times in, in uh, cartoons and TV shows and all over Hollywood. And that's, of course, Houston, we have a problem. There's probably not a TV show I know of that hasn't at least used this line once. Um, but for a short time, if not 2017, it might have been 2016. I believe this was a 2017 change, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm sure somebody in the comments will quickly let me know. Anyway, it changed to Houston, we've had a problem which of course changes not only the wording, but the entire tense of the phrase from present to past. A couple weeks later, of course, like all, it changed back. It is now currently Houston, we have a problem again. <coughs> These next two were probably the most humbling for me. Coming in, at number two is Costco Wholesale. Wholesale. Wholesale, excuse me. This is uh, one that, again, lost the T, interestingly enough. It lost the T for about two weeks, and then it found its T again. What was strange is this one humbled me quite a bit, because I thought, when, when I first seen the video on this, I believe it was Moneybags that put the first one out. I thought, no way. They're, that's just too close, Costco, Costco. And it's just, and I just kind of sat on the border and, and didn't make a video or anything, just kind of watched this one for a little while. And I said, no, no, surely they're, they're just confused. No, th this is just, you know, one of the false memory ones, which I will say those do exist. I'll be the first to tell you some of those exist. However, two weeks later, roughly a week and a half maybe, a little less than that maybe, I don't remember the exact time frame, but it wasn't very long, the T came back to reality. Now understand, guys, I research these things quite a bit. When somebody presents one, I will go online and I will look for any evidence against what is being presented, just to see if it exists. I could not find a storefront, uh, a wholesale card, nothing that had the T on it. Then all of a sudden, everything that I had looked at before had the T again. Now, I know Moneybags or Life Matrix, the other one that made a video, or anybody else didn't just go online and suddenly remove all these images out of Google and replace them with certain ones for a couple weeks and then flip them back. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. Not only Google, people were showing their cards in on cam. It did not have a T. And then it did again. 
This one humbled me a lot because this is one that I wanted to call BS on until it flipped back and proved me wrong. So that's why number two is Costco Wholesale Mandela Effect. And the number one Mandela Effect flip-flop, and the number one humbling one for me, was Victoria's Secret. Funny thing about Victoria's Secret is, the apostrophe S on the end, it could still sound like it with or without the, it being there, the apostrophe S it being there. Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret. This is another one that when Moneybags made the original video and Life Matrix backed him up with another video, again I said, eh, no, that's way too close. With or without the apostrophe S, it sounds the same. You guys might just be kind of getting this one confused. Again, I looked up storefronts. I looked up cards. I looked up... Every kind of piece of evidence I could find, nothing had that apostrophe S. And then a couple weeks later, it did. Storefronts, everything I could find, had the apostrophe S again. It's moments like these that remind me that the Mandela Effect is 100% real. And anybody that denies the Mandela Effect, I would definitely say... If you experience a flip-flop, there's no way you can deny it. These are, are moments that make you question your own sanity. Another weird thing about the flip-flops, it, it's like a reality scrub. If you try to go back and research these, which I have, and another weird phenomenon that I'm working on making a video with, um, I've got a researcher, a really, really good researcher, that's really into the, the flip-flop side of it, and she's pushing me really hard to do a, a flip-flop video, and we're working to gather evidence and, and see what we can do. But the problem is, for each of these flip-flops, it's like the evidence of the original flip-to-flop changed. The only thing you can find now are people that look kind of crazy, going, no, no, it didn't have the T, or, or money bags, the Victoria's Secret video swears that it didn't have apostrophe S now. That's not the original video that was put out that I seen. I don't know if he did a different video or changed them up, maybe. Uh, I, I don't see money bags doing that, though. That's not his style. He barely has enough time to make the ones that he does. So, I really don't think Moneybags is out there remaking videos. I just don't think that's the case. Or any other creator for that matter. There's only maybe, I found one or two pieces of evidence that do show flip-flop evidences. But it's like all the other information prior to the last flop is erased. Jacob Israel's videos, I think, are still up. But there are very, very few left that have not been just wiped. Life Matrix wipes his channel all the time. That's not a big surprise. But it's, it's moments like these when you have a flip-flop occurrence that you have to take note. You have to step back and really, really take a, a huge look at something that if you're a denier might change your whole outlook on things. Of course, for more information on the Mandela Effect, please make sure to check out MandelaBibleChanges.com run by Mr. Bill Bean or RealityShifters.com run by Cynthia Sue Larson, another incredible investigator or, as always, the Moneybag73 channel on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, for Dark Wolf Stin, I am Dark Wolf, and I'd like to remember to stay to say, remember always, stay awake, but dare to dream. Bye, everybody.